Hey guys, today I'm gonna do a. Oops, sorry about that. My TV is been up. So I'm doing a video on different concealers and what they're used for, like if the different colors and everything. Um, I have to thank stars101 dot homestead dot com slash corrective two dot html for the information I have received. Um, I will put there. I don't think I'll put there because it. Um, yeah, I'll put the info down in the below bar. Um, yeah. So it's how to apply typical skin flaws and how to neutralize them. Dark under eye circles is number one. A good concealer for dark circles under the eye should have a yellow base. Yellow combats blue tones with include shadows and fine blood vessels near the surface of the skin. Next one is tattoos. Considering it is if it is a blue tattoo, use a yellow concealer. Dab on the concealer, let it set. You also will need to apply a good waterproof heavy duty concealer that matches your skin tone perfectly. Try an any derma blend concealer. Uh, I'll just go for anything waterproof. They are heavy enough when whereas not too large. Apply a powder to help the makeup set and last longer. Third is sallow yellow complexion. You need to use what is called a primer, which is basically a concealer. It tends to be creamier in texture. Okay. And then it's just got an example. And it just says Smashbox Photo Photo Finish Concealer Correcting Foundation Palmer Bell Lavender in Lavender. It is a revolutionary formula that helps build in the lines and even our discoloration for a seamless finish. There are two ways to apply this. One well these are the two ways to apply a concealer. One is to use your fingertips to warm the primer. This way it'll put, apply easier. <coughs> apply to the entire face. Let it set next. Apply foundation by gently cutting foundation so you won't disturb the concealer. This is a little too time to mess But it's a little time consuming so step two might be a bit better for you guys. Step two is using the back of your hand as a makeup part. Scoop a little of the primer out of the compact and place it on the back of your hand using your fingertip to warm the concealer which will make it more pliable. Next, add some of your foundation to the primer by mixing it with your fingertips. Then apply as you would in a typical foundation application dark spots, which are aging spots and whatnot. Use a yellow concealer. Bruises, yellow brownish bruises can be covered by using a lavender concealer. Bluish red bruises can be covered with a green concealer. And last but not least, acne red blotchiness rosacea. You want to use a green concealer such as which again is Smashbox. I don't know why they love Smashbox so much. I think it's probably the Smashbox site. If the blemish is raised or has a flaky scale of it, you must be careful. You must be careful where to blend well and after the green can't be seen. Also, only layering on makeup can sometimes make the blemish stand out more. Use your best judgment. Somewhere in here it says I read somewhere. That um, when you apply it, you can when you've applied your color concealer, you can only go over it with a beige concealer, like just a liquid concealer that you use every day, pretty much like foundation. 
or you can go straight over with your foundation. But I'd go over with I'd cover blemishes and then go over with that my beige concealer and then my beige liquid concealer and then go over with foundation. I reckon. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um. So this is from Style 101. So yeah, um, that is pretty much the whole thing done. Um, yeah, you can pretty much get concealer, the um different tone concealers anywhere. Um, Essence has one. I'm going to try out very very soon. Um, yeah, Essence one's like under five dollars. It's like three or four dollars, I think. I'm not too sure. I can't remember. Anyway, um, yeah, Australis has one, um, yeah, um, Australis Essence, pretty much any makeup range will have a coloured concealer of one type or another. But yeah, um, I found one in Essence range, um, hopefully you have Essence in your country, you can go check that out, um, yeah, so... I'll put this link below from what I just read and where you can get the coloured concealers in your country, hopefully. Okay. Alright, I'll catch you all later and sorry I'm just in and out of reading and all that. And sorry, um, I just took the time. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry, I oh, wait. I sound like I was reading off something. I was trying to sound as natural as I can, but obviously I didn't. So anyway, I will try to make this fun to watch. Hopefully. Alright, I'll catch you all. Bye.